Can I get in, please? Can y'all like move a little bit? Thank you. Y'all doing something? Hey, to the doodles. Don't you dare pull up, girl. Cause one thing about it, girl, I will hit. Oh Lord. Okay, so let me tell y'all. So we got the Mustang back, right? Ooh, all that, all that, all that chicken shit. And so, um, oh, that's a fine white man. You know, a little uncooked meat will get your bills paid. Okay, so listen. A lot of y'all was mad because I, a pop, you know, I done made friends with the Ford Legacy people. But let me tell you something. They was like, next time, Zoe, just keep the family out of it because now you friends with them and you apologize and shit. No, baby, first of all, relax. We didn't apologize. Well, I apologize to the manager because I actually know the manager. I didn't know I knew the manager, but I know the manager. He's actually really freaking cool. But what y'all help with is y'all got the Mustang for free. What was that? Hold on one moment. Hold on. Um, that kiwi star fruit look real. No, yeah. Can I get the kiwi star fruit? Lemonade. Does, is this is a tea? Can that come in like a Trenta or no? Okay, can we do that? And not a lot of little. Well, never mind. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, can you put some of those strawberry dries in it? Yeah. And that's all. All right, thank you. Oh, light ice, friend. I got you. Uh-huh. <sighs> Ooh, that's a nigga down there. He's tall and skinny, but that dick's stupid in his kneecap. Okay, so listen. So, by y'all complaining and y'all hitting them up and all that other stuff, it got the Mustang for free. So, no, y'all really helped. When y'all was like, Zoe, keep the family out of it. Y'all had... Y'all had... You had us call up there going crazy, whoop, whoop, whoop. No, girl, y'all help me out, girl. Without y'all, y'all, you know, y'all help me out. And I greatly appreciate it. But it's okay to be mature and grown and be like, you know what? I'm sorry that they called your business of, you know, your, um, your place of business and went crazy, you know. But I just want to let y'all know I was fed up. It's okay to be grown and apologize sometimes. But yeah, and they apologized for not having my shit done on time. And then they gave me my Mustang. I didn't have to pay for it. I didn't have to pay for it. But, uh, y'all. Uh, what is this fucking, uh, what's going on? Oh, I look like, girl, I look like Fat Albert and the gang with this hot ass scully on. This is really disrespectful. Look at my skin. What's going on? Why my ear poking out like an elf? Okay, is my phone finna get hot? It's a lot going on right now. This is a whole lot of, whole lot. This is a whole situation that I can't keep up with. Okay. Speed up, Becky. I got somewhere to go, sis. So y'all, look. God is good all the time. Y'all, look. I got this new little thing. I went to Five and Below. It's okay if you have money to shop at Walmart, Target, and Five and Below. I'm wearing a hat, too. It's okay, friend. You know, sometimes our hair ain't done. Like, my hair is not done, and it's really dry right now. Like, if I scratch it, child, it's a snowstorm. Because, you know, I get my hair done every month. It's not really a snowstorm. It might be a little, little, a light snowflake. But, um, back to what I was saying, girl, you messed me up. We don't care about your hat. So look, I bought this. It's okay if you have money to go to Target, Walmart, places like that, five and below, Family Dollar. It is okay because sometimes there's things in there that you can get that you can get from uh, bigger places, but for a good price. So I went into five and below and I got this. And what this is, is you put it in your shower and you can uh, make videos in your shower. Look at that, isn't that so cool? So you can take your phone in the shower and it won't get wet. That is so awesome. Y'all, I really like little knickknacks like this. I'm just like so big on knickknacking that I will go somewhere and knickknack and get stuff and don't even need it. Like, why do I need a phone in the shower? <laughs> I mean, you gotta keep it spicy with your man. 
Baby, what you doing? In the shower? Let me see. Okay. TV's all out in the camera. Videos in the shower. Okay, right. Period. Child, I'm done with you. Girl, shit. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. What you won't do, another bitch will. Hello? And you got to make sure your man is all pleased. Yeah, girl. Y'all, there's this dude. Y'all, I'm so over men. Like, I know I say that all the time, and then I turn around talking about I got a crush on somebody. I'm just a hopeless romantic. I'm so sorry, but hey, that's life. That's us. We be over men and turn around and realize we need men. <laughs> oh, well. They be over us and turn around they need us. Okay? So, I mean, it is what it is. I guess we just all over each other until we need somebody. That's life. Everybody needs somebody. But we want to talk about we don't need anybody. Child, just be talking shit and don't understand we sound stupid. So anyway, um, yeah, I don't need nobody. Yes, you do. You need some pussy, don't you? <laughs> you need me. You need some dick, don't you? You need me. Hello? You need somebody to talk to, don't you? Bitch, you need me. Girl, I don't need nobody. You need somebody to make that damn phone that you on, so bitch, you need somebody. I don't need nobody, bitch. You need somebody to print out them dollar bills. You need somebody. Why you running around here talking about you don't need nobody? I do it all on my own. Nah, bitch, you ain't did shit on your own, but run your fucking mouth and look stupid. Shut up. Hold on, y'all. What my mind? Let me get this um Starbucks. Oh, I'm sitting low and pretty. What's that, bitch? For free? Or no. What the fuck Starbucks doing? Girl, lollygagging. Six ninety. Okay. Oh, I like that tattoo on your neck. What it mean? Hole. Oh, like O M. O M. Oh, like um. Oh, that's cute. No, oh, whatever. <sighs> that's different. <laughs> Never heard of that. <laughs> that's different. So you got like a peaceful spirit. That's really good. Um. Um. Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna get that on my throat. Um. Um. Grow up, Zoe. Girl, I'm just saying. All right. Thank you so much. You do the same. All right, y'all. Okay, so back to what we were saying. So, look. Y'all, I'm like over... Like, I'm not completely over men, but I'm over men and they antics. Let's put it that way. Like, I'm over the shit they do. So I'm not, like, literally over men. You can never be over men because you need them. Like, men are just a blessing. Like, I mean, look at them. Hello. You know, like, how we just not gonna have men... Like, we need men. I know I do. Though you a man. No, bitch. Watch your mouth. You ugly. So, anyway. um, I'm over they bullshit. Like, the shit they decide to do and think it's okay to do. Like, they just be so extra sometimes. You think women extra, but men really be extra, extra. I think my phone finna get hot. Same, sis. Same, girl. Um, Oh, Lord. My phone finna burn. So anyway, there was this dude, I thought he was so handsome, whatever the case may be, and I was just like, you know, telling him certain things, you know what I'm saying, like, you know what, uh, I'm a bad bitch, I do this, you know what I'm saying, woo 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 yada, 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 you know, just holding a whole cute conversation, and then all of a sudden now, what I offered to do for this man, who is just so fine, I offer, ooh, watch where you going, baby, <laughs> don't hurt them legs, <laughs> you need to walk into my life with those, so, um, I was, you know, telling him certain stuff like, I'm this type of bitch that you need. You know what I'm saying? Like, just real flirt and stuff. Like, you know, he gave me a little energy, whatever the case may be. I'm thinking we on the same type of level. Like, oh, this is it. This is this. It's going to pop off. We're going to have some connection. Child, he going to turn around and act like he just didn't need me or didn't want to talk to me or some type of shit. So, bitch, when I gave that same energy and now I'm not giving him the attention that he want, now it's like, oh, you playing this, you playing that, you acting like this. But, nigga, when I was giving you that, you wasn't taking it, bitch. So, give me back my plate, girl, and I give it to somebody else who want to eat. Oh, what the fuck are you talking about? Just make me so mad. Like, men want you to chase them and act like you need them. Bitch, I don't need you 100%, but I just need you 65 <laughs> Mm. Oh, oh, this thing is busting. Oh, it's like a little 
little Hennessy margarita. <laughs> what am I drinking? They put a little liquor in there. Woo. She is tangy. Woo. My whole tongue finna be wrong. <laughs> I can't drink a lot of stuff like that. My tongue get raw, like, like when I oh shit, look at the fucking expressway. Is the um, is the what you call it open? <coughs> Sorry, baby. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck about you. Ain't finna fight nobody. Stop your car and let's see what's up. I ain't never worried about it. Ain't never ran from no fight. Is the um, is the what you call it open? I don't think it's open. Anyway, so back to the nigga. So, I mean, to the man, I don't want to say the word nigga because then when white folks said we want to get mad, but if we want to see a change, we need to change ourselves, right? Right. Hello, somebody. So, anyway, um, I was trying to sh show him that, you know, I, you know, I'm here for you. Let's make this happen. Let's make this work. And then when I pulled back, now he like, why are you pulling back? Why are you doing this? Why are you not paying me no attention? Nigga, because when I was giving you all the attention that you was crying about on your Instagram story, you didn't want to take it because I'm not a real woman. Nigga, fuck you and real women. Now, all y'all, I'm just playing. But you know, in that moment, that's what I wanted to say, but I didn't say. It. Now he all like, just whatever, just whatever, girl. whatever, girl. I don't even know where I'm going because the expressway's backed up. Now, right at this. We just driving, just be driving. So then it's another guy. Like it's like you be seeing all these men whining on their Instagram story. Like, oh, I wish a girl would take me on a date, or oh, I wish a girl would do this, or oh, she don't do that. Get what you need. So maybe it's time for you to just say fuck it and just date. Like we like, just date. Find happiness elsewhere. Sometimes maybe your happiness is not the happiness you thought you're supposed to have. Maybe that's why the fuck I'm so upset sometimes because I need pussy. But because I'm so stubborn, I don't want pussy because I'm over here feeding for penis. I'm not looking in the right places. And maybe them niggas is the one who really need the asshole and, and dick and not me. You know, he did. I, I don't know. At this point, homeboys need to date homeboys and my gay ass need a woman because shit ain't working out clearly for either one of us in this motherfucking situation <laughs> I don't know but I ain't got nothing to do with it hey do what you do child if y'all want to cry you be 35 years old crying about a woman on your Instagram story then honey you do that I can't tell you I'm not saying a grown man can't cry but there's certain things to cry about and baby that's not one of them y'all okay uh huh no, let me stop, because these grown women be crying, too, and then we say it's okay for them to cry, and they, God gonna send them the right man, so if you grown and want to cry, baby, be grown and want to cry, child, just cry. <laughs> Sometimes cry help, I guess, but some people cry and just stay depressed and even stop crying. No, let me stop, because they don't get mad and cancel me, girl, but girl, I've been canceled since 2017, girl, y'all canceled me a long time ago over a fake-ass situation, girl, so bitch, bitch, she been canceled, girl. <laughs> Girl, she been canceled and got canceled again because she dated DL niggas, girl. So, girl, at this point, girl, she double canceled. Girl. <laughs> she double canceled. She double canceled, girl. Ooh. Hold on, my phone gonna get hot. Let me take it out the sun for a minute, y'all. Hold on, one moment. I gotta take my phone. I gotta take. They said, what she say, the phone holder? Oh, y'all want my phone holder? Yeah, this motherfucker is solid. She ain't even shaking, girl. She ain't got, she ain't, I almost said something, but people actually got that situation, so I didn't want to say it, and then, girl, get, I want to say it, and then, girl, get triple canceled, girl. But yeah, girl, she, um, she ain't shaking or nothing, sis. This one right here came from Vibe and Malone else and got it for a whole price of $50, girl, and then, girl, she wobbling and everything, like she cold, in the middle of a blizzard. Yeah, child. Sometimes, sometimes it's not about how much you pay for it. It's about the quant. It's not about the quantity. It's about the quality. Ain't that right? Did I say it right? I don't know, girl. Don't worry about it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm just letting my phone cool off for a minute. Just y'all, give me a second. So love five and below. Yeah, girl. They be having some cute shit, and that's why I got that damn um shower thing from. I'm definitely finna use that in the bathroom. Hopefully, it don't get too wet and fall. 
your shirt. My shirt? Oh, you talking about it's dirty? Yeah, because I was with my dog. So it's dirty. What you trying to say? Is that what you meant? My shirt was dirty? If that's what you was kicking about, girl, I'd rather have a dirty shirt than a dirty pussy. Which one you want? <laughs> I can tell you which one you got. But that ain't none of my business. You grown. Whatever you do with your body is what you do with your body. I can't tell you not to take no shower, girl. You know what I'm saying? That's how you live. That ain't how I live. But hey, whatever, whatever. Some of y'all just use tissue and not baby wipes. Walk around with little tissue balls in your booty hole and wonder why your man don't want to put his finger back there and eat it out. That's not my problem. That's yours. Corey! Hey, Co oh, this nigga is fine. Ooh, it is tank top. Ace. It is tank top season. Y'all heard me hunking him. I'm finna get beat up one day hunking at the wrong man, girl. Y'all go superstar internet sensation found on the side of the road dead for hunking at a, a straight man. Girl, I don't get no fuck. I die happy. Oh, shit. Five and below. <laughs> five and below. Oh, my God. I should have known better. Don't go to five. <laughs> don't go to five and below. No, I just, I just land. Oh, what cop? Don't turn around because you saw me touching that phone. Who these cops be trying it? And they be on they walkie talkie phone and everything, everything, but don't want us to do it. They have a whole computer set up in their damn car and don't want us to even touch a phone. But they riding around looking in the computer, answering phone. Oh shit, stop so. But anyway. What y'all say? Hey, y'all. Hey, Corey. Corey, I see you got all them cars over there. Corey don't even know how to drive them cars. See, you need a bitch like me who know how to drive cars with you. You like to have fun, and Corey don't like to have fun like that. Like, you need to get a bitch that like the dirt bike ride. Ooh, excuse me. Who like to burp? Don't even give a fuck. Fart in the bed with you and put your head up under it. You know what I'm saying? Want to arm wrestle, but still let you win because you the nigga, you know? Like, you feel like you was real dominant, but you really wasn't dominant. You know, just stuff like that. Like, I don't give a fuck if your little toenails is dirty. Okay, my man outside working. He got a little dirty toenail. It's okay, but that did good. You know what I'm saying? Like, have a little dirty toenail. Have a little rough hands. It's all right to have a little rough hand. I don't want your little fingernails to be dirty, though, but your hands could be rough. It's okay to have a little sandpaper hand. My man busy. He working. He working. He working. People be asking for too much. Maybe asking for too much. Just give me you. Give me you. Everything else can wait. Give me you. I hope it's not too late. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you, cause it's me, your Lord, <laughs> and I'm on my knees, crying out to Corey, <laughs> and it's me, oh Lord, and I'm on my knees, so give me you. Corey, give me you. <laughs> what was that? Mm. Well, see, y'all just gotta learn how to let a man give him you. We be wanting too much from these men, like, but then they be wanting too much from the women, too. They want you to have a big butt. They want you to have titties. They want you to have hair. They want you to have nails. They want you to have the eyelashes. They want you to have the makeup on. But then when you take all that shit off, then they want to act like, oh, you catfishing. You the nigga. I'm not finna wear this shit to sleep. This is just, you wanted me to catch you, I caught you. Now deal with what you catch, because sometimes you catch a fish and the fish don't be good. And you just be like, damn, you know, you caught a fish and it wasn't what you thought. So, I mean, but you still eat it. So, it's like, with a girl, you catch her, she got the makeup on, stick, bitch, get what you call. But you want to throw it back in the water. Then when you get something that you thought looked good, she done burnt your little tallywack and you over there worried about it when well, you should have kept the trout. But you over there won the bass. 
but you should have kept the little trout. Now the little bass done burnt your little penis off, balls hurting, and you worried about why you got bumps on your dick because you was wanting what everybody wanted. I ain't got nothing to do with that. It's still in my business. <laughs> Just give me a goldfish. <laughs> Give me a goldfish, because you know what? If you treat a goldfish right, you know, a goldfish is, 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 is a simple little goldfish. It's cheap. You ain't got to worry about it. But do this, and you feed that goldfish properly, that motherfucker get big as hell and beautiful, honey. How you doing? Give me a goldfish and let me treat it with love. <laughs> Baby, you need to go. Oh, she back on the road, sis. Go. Oh, there we go. Oh, we back. <laughs> it's about to pop out. Um, but yeah, give me a go, this girl. And then it'd be so funny, like the men want you to have all this dolled up stuff on your body. I think it's my the son. Hold on, you know, we gotta keep going back and forth. Then the men want you to have all this all this stuff on your body, like the hair, the makeup, the nails and stuff, but then they'll turn around. The BBL, the titties, the liposuction, but then they will turn around and they will cheat on you with a girl that ain't got none of that. Oh my Jesus. And y'all be so quick to run out here and get all that stuff just for him to cheat. And I ain't I ain't finna, I ain't talking down on nobody body size or anything like that. But you done lost all that weight, bust saving up all that money, twenty thousand dollars, thirty thousand dollars, all that shit. And then he cheat on you with a girl who go and get a whole family pack from KFC and eat it by herself. Because that that big body, that cellulite, that real booty, it hit different, friend. It hit different. So that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. If you get this stuff, get it for yourself. Don't get it because you want to be a catch. Don't get it because you want to be a video vixen or you want men to like you. Get it because you want to get it. Get it because you want to get it. Don't get it because you're trying to impress your man or you see your man liking all the girls' booties on Instagram or he all up under all these model pictures. Or Don't get it because you're trying to see like, okay, well, this is what he looking at. This is what he want. This is what he like. Then, girl, if I got this, then he'll stop looking because, girl, nah, he just looking. But, baby, let me tell you something. That, 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 that water bed body, that sex is something different. When it hits your bitch... <laughs> I ain't never had sex, but I hang around straight men. I hear what they talk about, baby. And they say when that they say when that soft they say when that soft body hit you when it hit you right here, and it, it it's like you jumping on a water bed. But they say them other booties be hard. They say they don't like to dance with girls who ain't got no ass in the club, or like girls who like you know they butts be fake because when they dance on them, it hurt their dick or whatever. But they said when that soft booty and them thighs be just wiggling and wobbling, it's, ooh, see that make me want to go try some pussy. Mm, that just sound like, ooh, like you fucking an apple pie. <laughs> mm. Ooh, that just sounds so scrump dilly up. <laughs> ooh, that just sounds so good, just soft and wet. Whoa. What you done did in the traffic? Oh, he done broke down. Is he fine? Oh, I know he over, girl. Ooh, he a little old man, too. Oh, Jesus. Protect them on this busy highway with all these folks out here in the country. You know, he black, too. They don't care about him. Oh, I hope he all right. But, yeah, ladies, just make sure you doing all this stuff for yourself. Don't do it for no man. Don't do it for him to like you. Don't do it thinking you're going to keep him. Do it because that's what you want to look like for yourself. Okay? Because I'm telling you, they will cheat on you with a girl that you thought they were never going to be with. Now, I'm not saying that girl's ugly. 
because nobody's ugly to anybody, but pussy ain't got no face. As long as that shit get wet and throwback, and they know how, and you been doing, what's it called, kingles, and you know how to make that little muscle grip. Oh, bitch, they don't give a fuck what you look like. You can always hit a bitch from the back. <laughs> always hit a bitch from the back, because that ass don't look good regardless. Especially she ain't got that little, them little chicken pop, them little pimples on the booty. You can always fuck from the back. Drink a little liquor, smoke a little blunt, you good. She look like um, she look like Rihanna, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Beyonce. Anybody look good when you drunk? <laughs> Hello, you know, niggas love to get when niggas get high. They horny, bitch. A lot of niggas get horny when they high, so they don't really care, child. It's on and popping when they high. Hit that blunt. Oh, well, that's how I used to know. Whenever one of my men, when my men rolled that blunt up, oh, I knew what time it was. I'ma see y'all later. <laughs> I'ma see y'all later. We got it. We gonna go home. Or if we was at home and he rolled that blunt, I knew what it was. I knew what time it was, child. Oh, it's blunt time. It's time to cut up. Let me put my hair in this ponytail. That's when I had my dress. Let me put this hair up because we gonna go to work. We gotta go to work. Yeah, that blunt, I don't know. It's, it's something about that blunt that just, it do something to the men, child. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. <laughs> That's why I tell my men, don't smoke when you're not around me. I ain't got time for it because I fight everybody. Y'all be smoking with your homeboys all the time. I don't know what the fuck y'all got going on. They like, well, Zoe, ain't he, ain't, if he with you, ain't he gay? No, bitch, I'm like a woman. I only do what women do. I don't want him sucking my penis. But some of these some of these hood niggas be sucking penis, child. You got to be careful. Ooh, women, y'all got it bad. I'm sorry. I got to be honest. Y'all got it bad. Because, like, if a girl, she on her nigga with a girl, it's all, you know, it's all right either way. But in the society, you know, you got to speak for, um, clearly because the girls will put words down your throat. Well, you saying it's not okay? They treat with a cheat with a man. Anybody cheating is wrong, but in society, the anger they get, they get, you know, they get real over it, girl. Why you want her? Bitch, you might as well come fuck with me. But anyway, so you is over it, shake over it, girl. So women got it bad because like you just don't know what your man doing, girl. You just don't know, and then he just be with his homeboys all the time. He be with his homeboys, and these homeboys be slick. Like, some of them homeboys be hard as fuck. Be like, nigga, niggas. Like, wait, it, what's happening, y'all? Is it freezing? Oh, my phone too hot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We good? Oh Jesus! Are we good? Phone just burning up. Are we good? Burning up. My phone is like burning up. <laughs> burning up. My phone is like burning up. Are we good? We good? It's still fucked up. The sound gone. Oh. We good?
Okay, we good, we good, we good, we good. I knew we wasn't good at first, y'all. I had the air on it. Y'all so dumb. I thought y'all knew that. I put the I put the air on it to cool it off. I knew y'all couldn't hear it while the air was blowing on it. Re- oh, calm down. Stupid. <laughs> that was the air blowing the phone to cool it off. The butt. I knew you couldn't hear me then. I'm talking about now. Y'all, y'all know Instagram Live is a um. Y'all know Instagram Live is a uh a, a thirty second delay. Anyway, so yeah, what I was saying was these men, these men be hanging out with each other, and it be so crazy because like the hoodest one, it could be the hoodest one, and that's the one that's over there just sucking up the crew. That shit be that shit be so crazy. And some of these hood men be liking these transsexuals to blow they back out. I just, oh Jesus. And I be so nervous too. I be thinking I got me a little hood one. And then I be like, child. <laughs> they be like, you my first though. I be like, okay. And I be watching certain little things. I be knowing who telling the truth if I'm their first or not. I be watching. You know, sometimes they want to make you feel like, oh, you done caught me. You done, you done made me try something new. And then, child, I just be watching, girl. You got to watch. Because I'm very observant, honey. So, you ain't fooling me, bitch. You fooling yourself. Because, child, there's certain things that the first time I ain't going to do. And, bitch, you was just, the child, this, you acting like this wasn't your first rodeo, sir. <laughs> you too comfortable, boo-boo. You too comfortable for me. I know what you giving, girl. You don't fuck with one of my good, good sisters. <laughs> You know, fuck with one of my good good sisters. Let me put you on back. <laughs> Let me put you back. Let me put you back, girl. Cause first of all, you lied. If you would have just been straight up, we would have been cool. It's okay. It's okay that you don't, you know, took a little bottle of little chocolate chip cookie. But let me know that you eat the cookie, girl. Don't let me, don't, don't have me thinking that it's your first time trying, you know, this sushi, girl. When you really done ate sushi before, you trying to act like you over there eating your hamburgers and hot dogs and, and Roman noodles, bitch. And I done gave you a little sushi, girl, a California roll, Miss Dang. And you act like you ain't never tried a California roll, girl. And you done ate. <laughs> Let me just date white women. <laughs> oh no, that never mind. That's what they're. It's, let me sit down and think about this. What I'm trying to do. It's pausing again. Gee, hold on, y'all. I said I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Hold on. I'm good. All right, y'all, yeah. And y'all gotta remember I'm driving too, so I might get in little sections where um it might lag because there might be no phone pole, no phone towers, or it's just a lot of trees. So just know I'm driving too, y'all. But yeah, this phone is getting hot. I can feel it in my hand hot. But when I sit it in that sun, it get real hot. So that's why I'm not showing my face right now. So sorry for the people who wanna see me talk and my facial expressions. But if I sit it back on that mount, it's in the sun. And the sun gonna bake it, honey. They need to make these phones a little bit better. Because this is just really sound. I ain't feeling this. Y'all, I really missed our car talks. My car talks be the tea. Because I just be talking, girl. Just randomly talking. And I really had, like, I just haven't had a chance to talk to y'all. Because I ain't had no car for two months. So then my bitch got a car. And now bitch want to talk Hey, though. Hey, bitch. What's going on? What's Tisa? 
How you doing? Y'all, I think I met SZA. I think I met Seven yesterday. Does she live in Atlanta? Hold on, let me mount this. I gotta see the answers for this one. Hold on, y'all. We in the sun again. I'm sorry. Does Seven live in Atlanta? The singer, Seven. S-E-V-Y-N. Does she live in Atlanta? Because I think I saw her at the park the other day. Hold on, let me see y'all's answers first. Does she live in Atlanta? Talk to us, girl. I've been tired now. You must have just got in here. She live in Miami. Oh. Because I saw a girl at the park yesterday that looked like her. Yeah, her name is Seven. Yeah, she's a rapper. Y'all don't know. I mean, she's a singer. Y'all don't know her? Girl, yeah, and she fine, too. She's a singer. She's so fine. But, um, I thought I saw her at the park yesterday. And, um, I was looking at her and she kept smiling. I was like, oh, she's such a pretty brown skin. Brown skin is beautiful anyway. I love brown skin women. No offense to my light skin. I, I just love my brown skin women. Uh, everybody fine. Let me say that. Everybody is fine. Everybody is fine. But my preference if I was a straight male, 100% straight male, I'm hitting the brown kitty first. <laughs> Just that's my preference. Light-skinned women are beautiful. White women, beautiful. Chinese, Puerto Rican, everybody fine. Everybody's fine. But I'm popping open that. I'm going for the milk dud. <laughs> But, um, yeah, she just, that girl was so beautiful. And I, I think it was her, but I'm not sure. And I was going to DM her because she followed me and I follow her. But I don't want to look stupid not knowing that was her in person. But, you know, sometimes people look different in person than they do on pictures. She wasn't ugly, though. But, you know, she was just in chill mode. She wasn't all glammed up. She was at the park. So she was just, if it was her, she was in chill mode. On all her pictures, she's just boom done everything. But she still looked good. She had a, if it was her, she had a hat, some glasses, and she was chilling. So I really couldn't tell. Y'all, this is so good. So for the people who want to know what I'm drinking on, this is from Starbucks. This is a um, Trenta Trenta Kiwi a Kiwi sugar free refresher, and then I also took away. Ugh, let me get back in my barista mode. Hold on. A Trenta Kiwi Refresher Sub Lemonade Add Strawberry Chips Light Ice. Shit, I said it wrong. A Trenta Kiwi sub lemonade light ice add strawberry chippings refresher that's how you say it if you are a barista oh my god i haven't did my barista talk in so long a trenta kiwi sub lemonade light ice add strawberry flakes refresher boom that is it Miss being a very so. <laughs> I miss being a very so. <laughs> I miss being a very so. <laughs> But um, all right, you. Guys, I love you. So I love you too, sweetheart. The, I, I don't know what to really call it, but it's like the straw, the, the dried strawberry chips. You know what I'm talking about? The, it's like a strawberry, but they're freeze dried. So you can say freeze dried strawberry. So you can say a Trent, a kiwi, a Trenta kiwi sub lemonade light ice as dried strawberries ref, refresher. Oh, I just don't want to say all that because it's dry, dry. That's just a lot going on. It's a lot, a lot, a lot. That's a whole lot of whole lot of. So for those who want to learn barista talk, you always gotta say 
it's on the side of the cup. It teaches you how to say it. So what you do is you say the size first. So it's either, uh, so if y'all go to Starbucks, because they be talking about you. I'm going to tell you, because I, I know when I was there, we talked about you. If you said it wrong, are they, you know, you know how they like low key correct you? And you'd be like, well, damn, bitch, that's what I said. And they'd be like, no, it's a grand day. Because it's just programmed in our minds to say it like that. Like they program it in your mind. Like they drill it. Hold on. Let me go over here right quick. Uh, I'm going to sit right here for a second and then I'm going to leave. But yeah, they drill it in your mind because they want you to have the same customer experience no matter where you go to a Starbucks. They want the customer experience to be the same everywhere and every drink has to taste the same. Like you can't add a little bit of this or add more of that because you think it tastes good. They want you to go to Starbucks in Florida and it tastes just like the Starbucks drinks in Tennessee. And then it tastes like the same Starbucks drinks in Alaska, like they want them to all taste the same. So anyway, um, you say the size first, okay? So you say the size first. So you say Trenta, and then you say the drink. So it could be a Trenta strawberry refresher, um, a Grande caramel. But if you got modifications, you got to say the modification before at before you say the drink. So let's say this was a Frappuccino because this is what a lot of the black people drink and some of the white girls. You would get a Grande Caramel Frappuccino, right? But if you're going to add stuff, it'd be a Grande Extra Drizzle Light Whipped Cream Add Chocolate Frakes Frappuccino. You get it? Does that make sense? <clears throat> Oh, the Trenta or Trente. I think it's a Trenta. That is the big drink, but that only comes in coffees. Look, I'm such a very it the Trenta only comes in coffees and teas. Nothing else. You can't get it in a latte and you can't get it in a frappuccino. You can only get Trenta in coffees, like iced coffees and sweet teas. It's bigger than a venti. As you can see, it's way bigger than a venti. Trente. Trente. Trenta is one of the two. I ain't been there in years. What's in my cup? Kiwi and strawberries. I'm a barista. Um, I missed the drink recipe. This one is a Trenta, Trenta Kiwi Sub Lemonade Add Dry Strawberries Light Ice Refresher. Got it? Um, I like caramel macchiatos. Yeah, caramel macchiatos are really good. But a lot of people, especially if you don't like coffee, and that's what a lot of people come and order when they come to Starbucks. They think, oh, caramel macchiato, that's going to be sweet and it sounds so good. No. Then when you get that caramel macchiato and you drink it, your first sip is going to be so bitter and coffee, coffee because a caramel macchiato is made backwards. <clears throat> it's made backwards. So you steam the milk, then you put the... It's actually made with vanilla and not caramel. It's made with vanilla syrup. You steam the milk, pour the milk on the vanilla syrup, then you put the shots on top and then you put the caramel drizzle. So when you drink it, you're gonna get a sweet coffee taste, but it's gonna be more coffee because the shots are sitting on top. But if you don't want it like that, you can tell them an upside down, extra caramel drizzle, caramel macchiato. And that one's good. If you get an upside down, extra caramel drizzle, caramel macchiato, that is a good one because then the shots will be on the bottom. But if you do that, you might as well get a caramel latte. But the reason I say don't get a caramel latte is because if you get a caramel macchiato, the caramel macchiato is made with vanilla and not caramel syrup. I'm a barista. <laughs> I'm 
de barista. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. I'm going to just stick to the fresh vanilla latte. That one's good too. But do you know the French vanilla latte isn't really made with French vanilla. It is actually our vanilla and hazelnut put together. They don't actually have a French vanilla fr flavoring. So that's why sometimes when people get our French vanilla latte, they be like, it tastes a little funny. It's because it's actually hazelnut and vanilla syrup mixed together. So if you got a tall, it's going to be, um, I think it's three pumps of each. No, if it's a tall, it's two three four so it's one two vanilla one two hazelnut or is it just one and one i think it's two of both anyway my favorite drink giving away their recipes it's not giving away hyundai write it on the cup <laughs> They write it on the cup, so when you come in, you know what you're getting. Um, But yeah, my favorite drink was the chai tea latte. Um, it's two of both. Got it. Thank you, friend. I haven't made a drink in so long. Oh, my God. Thank you. So it is. It's two pumps of both. So yeah, but if you wanted to stay the same recipe, if it was a regular tall and you only got two pumps of syrup, you would just say, can you do one pump of vanilla, one pump? Of so it'd be a, it'd be a French, it'd be a tall one pump each that's it a tall one pump each french vanilla latte that's how you would say it if you were getting it because now they know okay one pump of each syrup it's a tall french vanilla latte i'm a barista <laughs> but no i get the chai tea latte with soy milk and i will add two pumps of vanilla that's how i do mine even though the soy milk has vanilla, I don't know. It's just something about the vanilla and the syrup that makes it better. And that's what I would get. Really good. So, yeah, being a barista is kind of like being a bartender. And honestly, you have to move extremely fast when you're on the bar. Like, they, they don't understand the fucking work it takes to be work at Starbucks. It's like the, the bar that they set you on is ridiculous like that your drive through gotta move your inside gotta move like they want them drinks out in less than a minute it has to be under a minute if that drink is not done in a minute bitch you're gonna get in some trouble girl you gotta pop them drinks out and your foam gotta be right your temperature gotta be right if you cannot sit a penny on top of the foam like this is what they made us do when you were taking your bartender, your um, barista class, you had to steam milk good enough to sit a penny on top of it and it can float. Or you got to get a straw and stick the straw inside of it. And if the straw could stand up straight, then you make good foam. Because there's a different taste between burnt foam and good foam. It's a big difference. And it's a big difference between burnt espresso beans and good espresso beans. So if y'all go to Starbucks and your coffee tastes burnt, they need to either clean the machine or they need to run a water cycle on their espresso or put some more beans in it and then it's going to taste good. I know how to make the best drinks. I'm a barista. <laughs> I'm a barista. <laughs> y'all, I made the y'all. I made the best drinks in McDonough, Georgia. Highway 20? Oh, bitch. That was the best Starbucks when I was there. I was the best Bruce. I was fast. That line moved. And my drinks were always consistent, bitch. Oh, excuse me. Bye, friend. No, for real. I was really good. I was really, 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 really good. And, um... Like we went through three man, we went through two district managers and three managers, and every district manager and every manager wanted me to be a um, shift manager and stuff. But I said no every time because a bitch they weren't paying enough for me to come to that store and deal with people. No, ma'am. 
They weren't paying enough. I said, I bet you got me fucked up. And then on top of that, if you are a shift manager and stuff, and if somebody don't come to work at Starbucks, if somebody don't come to work, you got to cover that shift. Who? Who finna cover that shift? Not me. You grown. I'm not finna cover your shift. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I, I, look, no, ma'am. I'm sorry. And then I got to count the drawers. I got to count the tills. I got to count the safe. I got to make sure shit running right. Then I got to make schedules as a shit. No, ma'am. I'm doing I'm doing manager work. No, child. No. Them baristas, them, them shift managers at Starbucks got too much they got to do. Uh-uh. I'm not finna do, I'm not finna do all that. I'm not finna make no shift. I'm not finna count these drawers. Then if shit, if shit short, it's on me. And then that other barista who, and this bitch, that's too much. Girl, I ain't got time for it. I ain't got time for it. I ain't got time for it. <laughs> Starbucks is like, that's why they get so mad when you be like, it's like Dunkin' Donut. It's like this. No, the fuck it's not. Now, I will say that I feel their coffee is overrated. It's good because they make quality good coffee. But I do feel it is a little bit overrated because, yeah, I've been to other places. If y'all live in McDonough, Georgia, let me let me plug a spot, y'all. Y'all going to be like, thank you, Zoe. Thank you. There is a place in McDonough, Georgia, if you've never been... You need to go because it is freaking amazing. Uh, let me get my phone up, son. It's in McDonough, Georgia. And um, it is called... Uh, no, the reason I say coffee, Starbucks coffee is better than Dunkin' and stuff is because their coffee actually tastes like coffee. It's strong. But Dunkin' Donuts is like... Sorry, Folgers, but it's like Folgers and it has a lot of sugar. So it's like you can't even taste the coffee. So when we was a barista and they taught us how to tell the difference from coffee, this is how you tell. That's why people think Starbucks is so, the coffee's too strong. It's because they don't, they really don't add a lot of sugars and stuff. So when you become a barista, they make you drink coffee black. And you can actually tell, is it nutty? Is it, does it have hazelnut fee? Is it light? Is it medium? Is it dark? So that's why it's always good to drink your coffee black, just so you can know what your coffee tastes like like it actually it's loading again is it loading is it loading are we good oh shit i think it's loading is it loading friend hey zon from hawaii hey boo are we good no friend it's better than dunkin donuts yeah it is way better than dunkin donuts Circle K coffee, no friend. That's just sweetness. Okay, so yeah, um, yeah, they make you drink it black so you can actually tell your customers what they're getting and what it tastes like. So I do. I actually, I actually recommend y'all to drink your coffee. But you know, you're supposed to have one cup of black coffee a day. It's actually really good for your body to just drink, not with cream and flavoring. But if you drink one cup of black coffee a day, it's actually good for you. Um. Anyway, uh, 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 yeah, if you live in McDonough, Georgia, I promise you, go to Queen B in the square and get a nitro. Ah! Get a caramel nitro in McDonough, Georgia. It's called. Oh, my phone finna die. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Yeah, go to the square in McDonough, Georgia. Get the caramel nitro. I promise you, you're going to be like, what the fuck is a Starbucks? Ah! You're going to be like, people are leaving? Yeah, because my um phone is messing up. I don't really care about the views. I can talk to two people and be fine. One thing about me, I'm not, I'm not like famous hungry or want to be popular bitch i used to get on you now and talk to 100 people and be just fine or talk to 50 people and be just fine i don't care bitch as long as somebody listening i am okay i don't need all them people i'm, I'm fine child the more people you got the more problems and the more judgmental people you got to worry about but when you just got that regular few it's just like with church everybody ain't gonna go to church but guess what everybody gonna go to heaven 
You know what I'm saying? It's a billion people in this world. But guess what? Probably only a hundred of us, hundred of us gonna be up in heaven while the other something something billion in hell. <laughs> So child, I don't care. They say that road to heaven gonna be real slim. So I don't care who listening to me. I'm slobbing. I don't care. I do not care. The less people, less problems. Less opinions. <laughs> less drama. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. But I am thankful for the people who do listen. So don't think I'm not thankful for the many people, but it's just when you got more people, it's more opinions more judging and you got to be careful how you speak and bitch i like to just speak freely and say what i want to say because you know i'm my own person too the same way you're your own person and want to speak how you want to speak but why does my voice get taken away just because i have a lot of people watching and then they say your voice gets taken away because now you have more of a um what's the word (sighs) i know the word you have more of a what's the fucking word influence on people when you have a lot of people watching but if you your own person how the fuck am i gonna influence you you just gotta know how to be you just don't need to be a follower (laughs) don't get mad at me because you a follower (laughs) shit i can't influence you to do shit that you don't want to do if i say oh this movie is good go watch it you gonna go watch it, yeah, because I well, I did influence you to go. No, I just I just I just talked about it good. <laughs> I don't think I influenced you. I think I just gave you a good description of the movie that influenced you to go watch. <laughs> And I don't need nobody coming to uh break in. <laughs> I don't need nobody coming to break in, so I'm about to get on off this thing. <laughs> Let me get off this thing. I don't want to make them going to break my house. So I'm about to go. It's been real. I really enjoyed y'all. I hope I gave you some laughs. I hope it helped you get through your day a little bit. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Go watch somebody else who can influence you. <laughs> so, I love you. Have a good day. Stay blessed. Stay you. And fuck nickels. I mean, men. Okay, bye. I get off this thing now let me find my little exit <laughs> let me find my little exit girl let me pull over and find my little exit because i need to exit to the line all right my girl by you still driving drive safe yeah girl i'm still driving all right let me get some fun, y'all.